Welcome back to Good Morning Maine. We're here with Mark McLaughlin. He's the chair of Bangor Green Drinks. Mark, thanks for joining us this morning. Pleasure. So you're here to talk about the event that's going on tonight. You guys are kind of back in full force after a hiatus from the pandemic. Can yep. you talk about tonight's event a little bit? Sure. So uh, Bangor Green Drinks is a small environmental nonprofit here in the Bangor area. And we have um, these events, well, we did pre-pandemic uh, once a month on the second Tuesday, sometimes on the fourth Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And we have these gatherings where we get together uh, and we show off uh, the green or community-oriented things that different organizations or businesses are doing in town. And people can come. It's a free event. They can have some snacks. Oh. They can have some drinks. We do ask for a small $5 donation. Nice. Um, and it gives people a chance to check out what these businesses or organizations are doing. Um, and then the donations that we get, we, it becomes part of our green grant program, which are small uh, grants that we give out for community or, or environmentally minded projects here in the Bangor area. Mm. Um, and we had to take a hiatus for uh, two or three years because of the pandemic. Uh, we were back for a little bit last year. We we're doing outdoor events. Um, but tonight is our inaugural event. We're kind of kicking back off uh, our kind of our, uh, uh, our regular season, if you will. And we're going to be at uh, Habitat for Humanity. Cool. Um, at their restore and just kind of uh, demonstrating and showing off the different work that they do, the really good stuff. So that sounds like um, a great symbiotic partnership. You guys are benefiting Restore and Bangor, and you guys are also kind of doing similar things that Habitat for Humanity does, trying to fund environmentally um, positive projects around the around the state. That's right, yeah. yeah. And we actually have funded through our Green Grant program um, over the last 12 or 13 years we've been around about $65,000 worth of different programs in the area. Wow. And uh, yeah, it's great to work with Habitat for uh, Humanity. Um, they do some great work uh, as far as housing goes. The Restore itself is great. Yeah. Um, and they're also launching as part of this program their new fundraiser, Habitat, so T-A-P, for Humanity. And it's a passport program where you can purchase this passport and then you can go around to participating breweries and pubs and get a, 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 a drink get a beer. Uh, nice. till about <laughs> May 31st. So nice. I think it'd be a really good deal for the people who participate. So as far as the event tonight goes, there's gonna be beer, there's gonna be snacks, am I correct? Yep, there'll be beer, wine, uh, non-alcoholic options, because nice. we try to be very inclusive with that as well. Um, there'll be some snacks from downtown charcuterie uh, wow. and elsewhere. Uh, downtown charcuterie just opened their new brick and mortar location, so that's really cool. Um, we're gonna have uh, the home brewers of Greater Bangor who are gonna come. Um, and they're going to have sort of like a brewing competition. Wow. So p people who come to the event will get to uh, uh, sample the different wares and then vote on uh, what their favorite beer is. And then um, the winner, a uh, home brewer, gets a gift certificate and bragging rights. Yeah. I've always, so. I've always liked green drinks, so Bangor green drinks, because you do some neat projects too. I know you've done things like bike racks to encourage people to <laughs> ride a bike instead of their car. And one of the things about it is you can go and enjoy some beer and things like that. And what a, what a great way to do it. Anybody can get involved. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Like, and like I said, we try to make it so that um, if you like beer, great. If you don't, come and have some yeah. lemonade that one of our board members make. And, mm. um, we like to say that we're for everyone from 2 to 92. And, um, we're family friendly. Bring your kids. Bring everybody. Um, we're five to eight p.m. tonight at Restore. Five to eight. And Seems like a great way to meet people. Yeah, and we've actually had a lot of people um, say, you know, new to the hospital, new to the university, just new in town in general. Um, they hear about us through wherever, um, and uh, they come and check us out. And yeah, they often find new friends. Yeah, I know. There's kind of fair. There's less opportunities for that for people who are, you know, out of school. Right. So that's awesome. Yeah. What other um, places have you done events like this? I feel like I've seen them around, but I haven't really tuned in until recently. Right, we've done them in all kinds of places. We work with uh, different businesses, um, different uh, nonprofits. So we've had events at uh, Bangor Savings when we did um, our trail map launch back in the day. Um, we've had events at the University of Maine. Hmm. Um, different, you know, uh, Heal, um, just you name it, we've right. been we've been there over the years. I know I kind of put you on the spot too, and it's been a minute since the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, cool. we've when we've done a lot of uh, events in the past over the yeah. last thirteen years or so. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Five to eight tonight at the Bangor Restore. Yep. Sounds like a plan. Find us on our social media, um, especially Facebook, or go to BangorGreenDrinks.org if you want to find out about the events or apply for a green grant. Cool. Thank, thanks for coming on the show, Mark. Happy to do it. Cool. We'll send it over to Devin Biggs for our full weather forecast.